Hey guys, welcome back to the Growers Corner. So this week we wanted to discuss something that is pretty controversial, but it's also kind of important. So as you guys know, I like to open my plants, right? So we like to get in there. We want light and air and all this stuff going through as we leaf and things. Well, to open your plants up, there's really three ways to go about doing that. Stakes. Cages and screens. So, you all know I like to leaf. I, I like to get in there. I like to make sure that things are clean. So, a cage works. A cage goes around the outside of your plant. The branches grow through the cage. As they get heavy, they have something to lean on. That works. I just like to leaf and I like to be able to see and get in there and the cage gets in my way. I can't, I have very little access. I can't get in there. I can't really, you know, look under things and look around because I've got this giant cage in my way. Now, screens are basically the same concept, but on a horizontal plane instead of a vertical plane so that you're looking at something that you would do more of an indoor situation because you're screening it this way and now you can spread your plants out horizontally and take up more square footage, right? Which is what you want to do in an indoor situation. Maximize that space that you have, that square footage that you have, and ultimately cubic footage that you have so that as much of that area, as much of that room is filled in with buds as opposed to leaf, right? So screens help you do that. And because it's horizontal, you can kind of get in there and reach around and clean out that underbrush and make sure that things are, uh, the sun and everything is getting through, sunlight uh, is getting through and that you've got good uh, light penetration, good light saturation all the way down or as far as you'd like. Now, stakes are what I like to do in an outdoor situation. It allows me to open the plant up and I can kind of reposition branches because sometimes this particular side, especially when planted, or if you're not moving rotating pots or your lights are not on movers, uh, you're going to get one edge that's going to grow a little better, a little faster than the other. So I like to pull that back edge open so that it can still get light. You know what I mean? A good foot or so down. It's not stuck all up against itself in a little tree-like form it's nice and open and you can still get light penetration down to the back of the plant now that also works to keep plants on you know instead of coming up in pairs on parallels you can kind of offset them a little bit so they're not shading one another all the way down um, stakes allow you to kind of reposition things a little bit so that you can open the plant up as much as humanly possible and then you've got you know up and down you can tie it up or out or flat or however you want now stakes are a little more expensive um screen is less expensive but it comes in a big roll so it's not necessarily something that you care about it's a consumable thing you cut it out you put it in you replace it back in no loss. Cages, they're a one-time purchase, um, but it's such a pain in the, you know what, trying to harvest each and every limb and er, through little four-inch holes is, you can take them apart and pull it off and do all that, which works, but you're trying to tear through a plant. And it, so there's that. When you're staked out, when you go to harvest the plant, it's literally a matter of just cutting the tape and cutting the branch. There's, you're not pulling it through no squares or nothing like that. It makes it a lot easier. And like I said, opens the plant up, gets some sunlight in there. Aside from the leafing, it makes leafing easier, but it also, again, spreads it out so you've got even more air, even more sunlight. And you have even less duff buds because now you're getting sunlight down inside of that plant. So for that reason, I prefer stakes. All right, guys, just some stuff to think about. We always like to go over the options here. Until next time, this is the Grower's Corner.